Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. I am Shreya and today I am in very expensive city of Europe which is Zurich and recently we went to Amsterdam and we spent quite a lot of money there so we really wanted to cut down our budget for Zurich's trip. In this video, I will take you to the places which you can do for absolutely free or at really minimum cost. So without a further ado, let's go. Right now I am standing at Bahnhofstrasse and this street is only 5 minutes walk from the Zurich Central Station so you can easily walk here and this street has so many luxurious shops like you can already see behind me there is Chanel and Gucci so if you are nearby do check this street out you can freely enter on this street and take a stroll around this and do some window shopping at this luxurious shop One of the best thing you can do in Zurich for free is visiting this old town of Zurich because this place has so many things to offer. There is this Niederhofstrasse which is really pretty and people are sitting outside enjoying their summer, having drinks, having their lunch. This lane is very cozy and it's a cobblestone street. This is of course free of charge. You can enter this street and enjoy strolling through these streets. And there are also some other attractions here nearby which is St Peter's Church, Grossmünster, Frauminster you can also sit next to the Limmat river in the city center and enjoy the beautiful view of zurich i am standing in the flea market and this market usually is on the weekends especially on saturday so it's already very late i mean it's 5 o'clock and this market is about to close so we are late today if you are here on saturdays then i will link the name of the street here so that you can check this market out and try to be here early so that you can also stroll around this market and buy something if you want so guys this is also one of the free things you can do in zurich as you already know Switzerland is really really expensive country and so Zurich is the best thing you can do in Zurich is you don't have to pay anything for water because there are over 1200 water fountains just like these in the Zurich city so Zurich is really famous for its alpine water and this water is really clean just make sure that you have empty bottles with you so that you can fill your bottles here at the fountain and you don't necessarily have to buy water from the supermarket Right now I am sitting next to the gorgeous Zurich Lake and it is absolutely free you can sit here you can relax there's also a place to sit in front of the lake Zurich so you can sit here relax you can stroll around you can see behind me there is this swimming place this is free for public so if you want to jump in just jump in because you don't have to pay anything for this and in Zurich at most of the places by river Limmat There are these kind of spots where you can go for swimming and it is absolutely free so make use of that opportunity and this will be a really great idea especially in summer If you are living in Zurich city center then probably you don't really need to buy any kind of ticket to roam around the city center because all the places in the city center are really close by so you can make the most of those places on your foot and you can also rent the bicycle for free but we were living little bit outside of Zurich city center so we bought the ticket and it costed us 8.8 uh, Swiss francs and this ticket was valid for 24 hours so we bought this ticket uh, a day before in the evening and this ticket is valid until the next evening so you can save a lot of money in public transportation in case you are living in the city center so you don't need to buy any ticket at all but if you are living outside of the city center then choose your ticket wisely and if you are buying it then make use of that ticket to the fullest So guys according to us one of the best free things to do in Zurich is renting out the bicycle it is totally free of cost and you don't need to pay anything for this so we just rented out two bicycles and it is free of cost you just have to show your passport to take the bike and you have to give the deposit of 20 euros or 20 swiss francs and that is all is needed for renting out this bicycle so this zuri roll starts from 9 am in the morning and it closes at 9:30 in the evening you can rent the bicycle between these times and make sure you return them 
before it closes. If you are renting out this bicycle, you can literally save your traveling cost. It is really amazing riding along the riverside in the city center and it's going to save you a lot of money. Guys, this is the Limat River and you can swim in this river. So there are some specific spots in the city and you can swim here for free of cost in the summer. This place is near Marriott Hotel. So I will give the name of this place here so that you can check that out. And this is one of the free things you can do in Zurich. Visit this place and jump into the water in summer. You can enjoy this when you are in Zurich. And today the weather is not so good. So there are very few people here. But in the summertime, this place is absolutely crazy. The next spot you can do for absolutely free is the Lindenhof place. This place is right in the city center and it is also at some height so you can have a very beautiful view of the city center with the gorgeous river Limat. And you don't have to pay anything to visit this place so this is one of the best thing you can do for free in Zurich city center. If you are on a budget trip and if you have your food inside restaurants you might end up spending a lot of money so what I would suggest is going to the local grocery stores for example example Coop or Migros or even Aldi and get some food for yourself and you can sit here at Lindenhof because there are so many places here for you to sit and you can have your food with the really nice view. The next thing you can do for absolutely no cost is visiting Poly Terrace and this place is really amazing. I can get the view of Zurich city from here and you can see Grossmünster, Fraumünster, St. Peter's Church from here and the view is really amazing. And this place is in the city center itself right in the front of the Zurich Public University. In case if you have the ticket of your public transportation then you can travel by Polybahn and it's just one minute journey and the experience is really amazing. So guys, if you have ticket of the public transportation, then definitely make use of this Polybahn. You absolutely don't need any kind of ticket to have the view of the city center from this place because it is free and open for public. So make use of this opportunity and enjoy the beautiful view of Zurich city. I am standing in the Chinese garden and this Chinese garden is just next to the Zurich lake which is in the city center so you don't really have to go far away to visit this garden and I would definitely like to recommend you this because entry to this garden is free and this part of the garden is a bit small but this is really beautiful and if you go outside of this garden there is this huge park in front of the lake and there are so many things to do here if you have kids they also have a playing area in this park so guys this park is a must if you are in a budget trip in Zurich I'm really happy that I visited this Chinese garden today because initially I thought I had to pay at least three or four euros or Swiss francs to get into this garden so if you are near Lake Zurich then you can definitely decide to come here and have a good time so guys in whichever European cities you go there is a high chance that there is going to be a river flowing through the city center and there will be so many bridges where you will see so many locks on at least one of the bridge here also I am seeing one bridge where there are so many locks and there are also other cities in Europe for example Paris or even in Germany there are many many cities where there are these kind of bridges where people put their lock as a symbol of their love so I'm not going to do that <laughs> but I will just show you how how this bridge is at the moment it's raining and there's no one on this bridge except me and Jesh. So we have this bridge to ourselves and the city looks really amazing from this bridge. As we bought the 24 hour day pass of Zurich, we also opted for the Limat River cruise. By the way, this cruise is a part of public transportation. How cool is that? We made the most of our day ticket by using this river cruise from Swiss National Museum to Zurich Lake. If you don't have a day pass, you can simply get the round trip ticket of this boat cruise just for 4.4 Swiss francs and you can directly buy the ticket in the cruise itself and this round trip ticket is valid for one hour only. I think this was the best way to explore Zurich city and the lake from water at a very minimum cost. So guys, I know Zurich can be very expensive and I hope that these tips could help you when you are planning your trip to Zurich. And I tried to cover most of the things which you can do for absolutely no cost or at least at minimum cost. And if I missed something, then please let me know in the comment section below which things you can do for free. 
and i hope that this helps other people also who are watching this video thank you so much for watching this video and if you find this video helpful then please consider subscribing to our youtube channel it would mean a lot to me and also hit the notification bell icon so i will see you in the next video until then take care travel safe and bye bye